everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be taking a look at a game that made the top of our list of video game IPs, and that's Sid Meier's um, uh, Civilization. Now, I have two copies, and we are actually going to open up a sealed copy so we can show you right out of the box what it looks like. You can find these on eBay. Um, this is a, a game by Glenn Drover and some of his rule sets, and I'm going to show you some of the things that um, uh, about the game, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a live playthrough, um, probably in a couple weeks, where you are going to see some of the adjustments that we made to the rules. So um, this is going to be one that you're going to want to pick up, and I promise you that, and I'm going to show you why it's number one on my list as far as video game IPs. Even though Doom and Gears of War are great, you know, it's by, by Slim thread uh, but I just have so many great memories about this let's go down to the table and open this up okay I took the plastic wrap because you, you know how it is when you take the plastic wrap off you, you know you'll fumble and go through it for about 20 minutes all right let's take a look and see what's inside you're gonna start off with a ton a ton of minis and no you do not want to paint these okay uh, you, you will drive yourself completely mad trying to paint them and the person that does, hey, God bless them. Uh, it, it's enough just to clip them. But you can see that you're going to have different errors and things like that. You know, you, you've got airplanes, tanks, old ships, uh, catapults, uh, army men, uh, horseback, all kinds of stuff. And then you have your towns and settlements uh, and things. So we're going to pull all these out uh, just so we can make a little room here. game is untouched for 30 years for well, 20 years at least and then you're gonna get dice you're going to get uh, these are uh, settlement cards or happiness uh, happiness and you're gonna be able to build certain things depending on what you have uh, you're gonna have wonders and things like that and what you're going to try to do is get some of those you have your technology chart how you're going to work through things there uh, your standard rules reference chart. There are two different ways you can play this. You can play the standard or advanced. And we'll talk about that when we go through the manual, which I have over here. You've got money, because after all, you can't do anything without cash. And then this enormous, enormous board, which I don't even think I can, I can break it up into a couple of parts. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, just this is, there are thirds of this so that's how huge this is okay this is just one third of it let me move this out of the way so you guys can get a look and, and, and see that there is just a lot of board here I'm just gonna move this out of the way here and we can just kind of pick this up a little bit and of course my things in the way and my arm but you can see the enormity of just one third of the board and you've got two more so this takes up a good amount of table space as you can see uh, just an enormous enormous board which adds to the enormity of what you're trying to do and that's become the greatest civilization on earth there's another board uh, just just enormous and uh, beautifully done by Eagle Games uh, the original was done by Eagle Eagle Games. So if you look for it, make sure you look for the one by Evil, uh, Evil Games. Uh, uh, let's see if I can even close these up. Okay, there we go. We got them back on. Let's, uh, I want to show you some of the things uh, in the manual here because that's really going to kind of give you a feel for this. Uh, there are two different rules. The rule book is not that thick at all. All right, really, really basic, basic kind of game that you, uh, like I said, we do a couple of things differently. And um, there's just a couple of rules here. This was, uh, uh, of course, um, uh, worked on by Glenn and Kathleen uh, uh, Drover. Uh, the game is actually dedicated to him. Uh, game design was by uh, Jacob O'Connor. Um, I know earlier, I, th I think I said that uh, Glenn uh, worked on it. But, you know, there's a couple of things that, that I like to do a little bit different. You're going to have different errors here. 
Uh, you're going to have your ancient era, your medieval era, your gunpowder industrial era, uh, and your modern era. And that's where you're going to see battleships, housers, tanks. And early on in your ancient area, it's swordmen, horsemen, catapults, and, and galleys. Um, it's going to explain everything that you need to do, your game marker, your resources, because you're going to need resources, gems, spice, oil, iron, horses, wine, in order to do different things. And then, you know, you're going to have different, uh, you know, uh, rare metals, which are coal and rare metals, duh. Uh, your exploration, exploration markers, sieve markers are going to be all over. So any undiscovered land, you are going to go uh, take a look at. Uh, you're going to have your technology cards, uh, your wonder cards, your city cards, and your improvement cards. Okay, and this is what you're going to be able to do. Whether uh, you know doing certain things is going to make your your citizens unhappy or happy, because keeping them happy, as you know, is a big deal. Um, and then, just a quick, uh, um, they, they explained the actual improvement cards and how they work, your reference cards, um, uh, the, the wonders and things that you're going to need, uh, what you're going to need to be able to get wonders and so forth and so on, how to set up the game, and then uh, the game sequence. And the tur turns are very basic. It's movement and battle phase uh, in, in your first, uh, your first phase, your second phase is your trade phase, your third phase is your production phase, and then the fourth phase is your purchase phase. So you're going to go through these phases and try to adapt and, and, and build up your, your civilization uh, and, and, and how you're going to go about that. And it gives some beautiful examples on each thing as far as each phase is concerned. Uh, you're going to have your movement phase and then uh, it's going to explain things and then uh, an example on how to do and how they progress and then you know it, it goes for each and every phase okay and then finally they you know just wrap everything up tell you what you need as far as towns and so forth and how you're going to score everything and how you win the game um, getting victory points of course, whoever has the most victory points is usually going to win the game, uh, and and that's pretty much uh, uh, how the game goes. And that's the standard game. With the advanced game, it adds even more city improvements, um, wonders of the world, and how those go. Uh, this, the phases are the same, but the, but there's a little more complexity to things and what you're going to want to do and how you're going to want to do uh, military strength and so forth. Uh, how you trade uh, crit uh, critical resource tables you're going to have, which are which are on some of those charts. As a matter of fact, how your sequence goes, your purchase tables. Uh, like I said, your critical resources, um, production, and all that stuff. And then your advanced rule charts and how those all go. So you have your standard rules and then your advanced rules. And I, I suggest playing the standard game for, uh, a few times, uh, and and you can see it's only a couple pages to add to it, and then boom, you are up and running and having a great, uh, a, 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 just a really great time because it really has a great feel to it, and does feel a, a lot like the the video game, which is probably one of my favorite video games uh, of all time, and uh, just a really a game that really means a lot to me. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts. You know, one of the things I can't stand is taking the wrapper off a game, but you're supposed to take it off so you can play it. And that's why how foolishly sometimes I'll buy two copies of something and just put it away. It, it, it's, it's, you know, but as you saw, there is a lot going on in this and it is a very good and, and, and solid game and it's a you know the later editions I thought were good as well but this one it's just personal for me um, it's it's one of the first games that got me really back into board gaming and um, I, I really really enjoyed it um, all-time classic As a matter of fact the older version that I have has quite a story to it uh, which I will never uh, talk about because it's quite personal and um, it just means a lot to me. 
a good solid game. I think it's a game that you can get for anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks where you can bring it in and if you want to spend an afternoon, you will have a great time and enjoy it. Uh, and you know, you'll see some of the tweaks that we do and, and why we really, really enjoy this game. So folks, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. Civilization, the board game. Why is it, why is it number one? Well, I mean, it's just a lot of game. We'll see you soon.